Cheater. I accidentally used your toothbrush today. <laughs> but I didn't mind. Cause it's the closest I can get to your kiss. Then I remembered where your mouth has been. And I got really fucking pissed. Time. Isn't it funny how you can go your entire life without someone? Then one day you can't imagine them. Hi everyone! Oh my god, I was just... <laughs> Hi everyone! Oh my god. Was this on? Oh, I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> sorry, that was so dumb. I'm sorry. <laughs> just a little bit of light reading, Marissa said. Just a little bit. A little bit. My mods are here. Hi, mods. I love you. Hi, everyone. Um, I hope you're all doing great. Um, if you want, maybe we can read a little bit more in a second. But yes, I am a comedian. What we're going to be doing in today's stream, subtle reading is we are going to be watching. Hi, by the way, I see all of your texts coming in. Um, you guys are blowing up my fucking phone. Wait, there we go, you're blowing up my phone. Thank you for that. We're gonna be watching the Eugenia Cooney, Shane Dawson series. Um, but first of all, I just wanna ask you all a question. Hi, North Carolina. Stopped a One Direction video for you. Say milk. Milk. Yes, torture us with that poetry. Okay, I have a question and then we will get into it. It'll be very quick but I really need you to listen. So I was on a Zoom meeting today about YouTube membership. No, someone said this is too exciting. Oh, um, so I was on a meeting today, a Zoom meeting about YouTube membership. YouTube membership is basically, it'll be two tiers if I go ahead with this, but I wanna know if people are interested. Basically, it means that if you sign up to YouTube membership, it doesn't mean you won't be getting content on my YouTube. There will still be content on my YouTube, but with YouTube membership, Maggie, thank you for the donation. Keeping me iconic. You, it basically means that you can sign up to get more content. Yep. It's the crease. This is nasty. You'll get more content if you do one tier and then the other tier, you'll get more content as well. But, um, I will also, anyone who signs up to the other tier, be signing out signed art cards, even if you cancel after one month. Basically, it's just um, a way that, you know what I mean? It's like a more, and I will also be doing videos for the members only that they can see and stuff like that. So um, it'll be two tiers normally with, by the don't worry, there will still be content always on this channel. Um, and yes, there will be giveaways so that you can actually give when to be part of the membership as well. And it basically just means that if you want, it's there. If you don't want, it's not. Um, and it'll just be like um, like $5. So anyway, that's what I had a meeting about today. We are going to get into this series because I'm super excited to watch this because I have not, from my memory, watched the Eugenia Cooney series. You know what I mean? All that Bobby, love that, um, said, yes, memberships. Thank you. So yes, I will still be posting as normal. Don't worry, I'll explain it more in the future, but I just want to see what people are um, up. Um, so we are going to be the return of Eugenia Cooney, okay? Let's get into it. First of all, I hope everyone's having a great day. And I hope you like spaghetti. I mean, yeah. This will be fun. Happy weekend, everyone. Happy weekend. I haven't done a live stream in a while as well, so. Um, everyone's talking about milk. Honey, it's 3 a.m. what you're doing. It's 2 a.m. for me. Oh, I'm going to um, read some text, but I know that not everyone is on the text, so I'm only going to do this for like a second. Laura, what the fuck? Thank you for the donation. Oh, by the way, guys, what is your opinion on Eugenia? I have never asked you that before, I don't think. What is your opinion on her? And I'm going to read through these. Laura, thank you so, so much. That is so, so sweet. So what is your opinion on Eugenia Cooney? Laura, that was so sweet. And also, are you guys back at school? Are you back at school? Let me know. Um, texts are coming in here. It's K-Bell. Uh, Gray said, can I suck your toes? Please fuck off. Um, hi, Noodle Art. I see you. I'm going through. 
Uh, Looney Ho said, Eugenia as well. Interesting. So I'm just going through these. Um, Rhythm Moon, can you also watch the Jacqueline Glenn videos regarding Eugenia Cooney? Um, what is that? I do not know what that is, but I will write that down right now. Thank you for that donation, and I will look into that. Um, people, I'll be in school in two weeks. I start on the 7th, you guys. Um, yeah, going back to school already. Seems dangerous. Lewis, thank you for the donation. Um, when will the text be international? Actually, I that is a priority of mine. Don't worry. Don't worry. Um, I got my Red Bull. I have my water and green tea. You will be happy to hear. Okay, we're going to start watching this in a minute. Fuel addiction, babe. Happy Friday. Happy Friday to you. Thank you so much. Fuel addiction is so sweet. People are talking about school. Fuel addiction, thank you so much, babe. Okay, people are talking about Eugenia. I actually, um, I don't keep up with you. <laughs> Water and green too. Who the fuck are you? I know all of her. Um, Rachel M., I never really donate, but I love your channel. That's so sweet. Thank you so much, Rachel. Thank you. Um, someone said I love your content. Okay, guys, we are going to start watching this now. Who's ready? My microphone. Lewis, thank you. I'm reading everyone's comments right now. Um, I'm drinking red wine. Ooh, that's fun. Okay, people are saying me. I don't I forget what I asked. Um, what's my opinion on Eugenia? I'll make it clear throughout this, okay? Um, Davina, thank you so much. What do you think of Shane Dawson? Um <laughs> <laughs> I think Shane Dawson is a good actor and for a while people saw change but I think what we're realizing is that change was never there <laughs> sorry what do you guys think just look up Black or Jack Glenn. okay thank you so much I actually put that in another browser thank you again for the donation um, everyone's saying white wine. Oh my god, y'all drinking wine tonight. Aoife Keenan, there's some shady stuff about... Oh, yeah, I did hear... Did you guys hear about the mod thing as well? I saw y'all talking about that in the chat. Um, if I need to look into that. There was... Was that the video that you were referring to earlier? Everyone's saying we got here in time. So let's begin, okay? Rosé wine. Um, if you're drinking a drink right now, what drink? And then we'll start. That's my final question. Then we'll get in. Um, and I'm going to have to, like, start. Otherwise, we're never going to start. So tell me what drink you're drinking. Then we'll begin. Chelsea, thank you for the donation. This series was so twisted by Shane. Thanks for covering it. Yeah, everyone has... This has been a priority that people ask me to do this. Thank you. Water. Oh, my God. Water, water, water. Um, blue tea. Is that a Cheetos? You're drinking tea Cheetos? Coffee. Okay, let's begin. So if you don't know how this works... Due to copyright, I cannot show the screen, but I have the volume up very loud, so you know what's happening, okay? Mountain G, Davina, I see you, who's saying maca. I've never tried maca. I don't know what bubba is as well, bubba tea? Beer or nothing? Well, I don't like beer. Um, okay, so we're going to watch this. It'll be up loud so you can hear, okay? So it says the- oh my god, wait, sorry. Remember the, like, therapist? You know what I'm talking about? Like, the- the- life coach therapist girl that's in this Oof. um eugenia it says the following contains discussion uh which may lead to um trick out i glad you're healthy again yeah guys thank you for all the well wishes as well what are your other favorite snacks that are hard to come by hmm this is gonna sound like really weird but i like the other goldfish as well <laughs> we get no goldfish here we literally get no goldfish I also like flavored chewing gum. Like, there's no way here. Okay. There is no, okay. like, physical way to contact you right now. I know you're asking for so this privacy. is one of her friends. I don't even know if you're going to see this video, but I do hope you see this video um, eventually. <laughs> hope you're all doing good. I want to let you know that myself and so many others are rooting for you. We care about you. We love you. And I truly hope the best for you. And I'm so excited to see if you choose to share it, your journey. Um, of who is this? What can who is this? Who the fuck was that? The return of Eugenia Cooney. I think as well, let's be real, she was really set up. You know what I mean? Like, she was... Oh, sorry, your patch kids are really good. Um, 
Eugenia was recovering and it was kind of like the return. So there was a built up pressure in my opinion. Eugenia Cooney created her YouTube channel in 2015. Take a look at these pictures. So these photos you're looking at are from Pop. Okay, so I'm gonna actually show you this part. So it is. YouTube star Eugenia. Her physical appearance has sparked a. So in 2019, she announced she was taking a break to focus on her health. Why was this like? Did you hear that in the background? It was like, um, oh my God, Shane needs to cover this. Why was it like? Clearly, Eugenia Cooney was struggling. And why were they, their first thought was not, let's get her help. It was, oh, by the way, do you like my, my friend Asya got me it. It's really, and I don't want to, yeah, people want me to talk about her mom as well. Um, Debbie, I'm sorry I'm late. No, you're just here in time. Hello, everyone. We love you, Debbie. Um, everyone was like, yeah, let's get Shane to talk about this. How about we get her help first? Okay. Hey guys, it's Eugenia. Can Shane Dawson please do a series on Eugenia Cooney? There are so many questions from everyone that need to be answered. I feel for her, I but she does not look good. I mean, from a professional standpoint, I mean, she really looks emaciated. Um, you're my favorite skeleton girl. Well, thank you. Yeah, so at the start of this, it was basically about the, like, abuse that she was getting. How's your answer? Thank you. Thank you, SSL. I'll be a skeleton girl. Skeletons are cool, so thank you. <laughs> what makes me happy? Well, coming on here, talking to you guys makes me happy. What happened with me? I don't know what happened with me. What do you mean what happened with me? Do you have a three meals a day challenge? Is that a challenge, guys? I really only subscribe because I'm waiting for her to kill herself. We're dying starvation. I just, oh, and what is that? Oh, somebody's usernames, whatever, though. You guys just want to have. This is really sad, right? And I'm saying this is really sad from Eugenia's point of view. What I don't like is the like, you know, the like emotional manipulation of music. I don't like it. But anyways, yeah. So obviously I don't want to get there. I'm aware, I know. <laughs> oh, it looks so bad here. I really do care about you, Eugenia. So this is like a live stream of the day. Thank you. I'm really worried for you and scared. Oh no, don't um, but, And I don't want anything to happen to you. I'm very serious. I'm oh, not serious. I don't want And I think at the same time there was a lot of what's the right word? There was a lot of pressure. Um put on Eugenia. In general. But also after the series, because it was almost like people assumed that like that she was going to be fine. You know what I mean? It's really sad. What anything to happen? Like me cry or anything like that? I I feel like really bad now. I'm sorry. Although Eugenia herself has never admitted to anorexia or bulimia, she has four hundred fifty-two thousand followers on Instagram. And I guess some of her followers have admitted that they're jealous. Erica, thank you for the world. donation. Your stomach is so flat. Oh, I'm yeah, I've, I've seen a lot of people say that. Like, I've never tried to come on here and, like, tell you guys, like, okay, this is my size, and this should be your size, too. Well, I'm sure you're, I'm sure you are gorgeous. I'm sure. Does anyone else feel really conflicted when it comes? Oh, guys, oh, guys, by the way, um, make sure to like the video, like, like the stream, because it really helps it out. Thank you. There's 1.6 thousand you watch right now, but there's only 300 likes. I'm watching you. I'm watching you. <laughs> okay, thank you. Does anyone else not know how to feel? Because this is a very serious topic, and I don't like the fact that there is sad music playing in the background. Scott Biggs, thank you for the donation. Hey, you. I don't like that there was music played at all and you can say emotional manipulation whatever like i said it earlier but when it comes to like someone's life half turk thank you hi i remember you from other live streams it feels a bit weird and i don't know how to react as a viewer um so super gorgeous so yeah not one but four petitions have gone out there to shut down her social media accounts due to what those folks... What do you guys think about this as well? 
um, there was petitions and they were very, very, very big to get her YouTube channel taken down. I, I don't agree with deplatforming. See, this is the thing, right? Deplatforming is serious. And we've kind of talked about on my channel before, like Tana and Jake Paul and Shane and Jeffrey and kind of the people that people say should be deplatformed. And I think deplatforming is such a scary process, in my opinion, because you know what I mean? It's almost like you take someone's voice away. And Eugenia very clearly struggles mentally and physically. So the reason for her being deplatformed is because of how she is, I don't know how to feel. I um, I want to read. I want to read opinions on that. Um, yeah, see, um, backwards bandit said her YouTube channel is directly harming her though. Um, oh wait, I lost it. Um, it's a really tough and weird situation. See, this is what I'm saying. I'm not saying I'm not saying my opinion is set in stone. That that's what I just said. Like even about deplatforming, and when it comes to this, it's like there's you can't be like uh, because there's so many different like levels this can be taken to. You know what I mean? Autumn said they should have started petitions to get her help instead. Davina said, I seriously, when I saw this, I felt sorry, but. Bullying online is bad, like you don't know what she's going through. Fuel addiction said super gray area, and that's kind of where I agree with. Sol DC said maybe some trigger warnings with her videos. Um, Maya said it's unfair what Shane did in her fragile state because it probably made her feel like all these people are defend or sorry depending on her healing process, but this is in her own time. Yeah. Eh believe is her dangerous influence that she could be having on those potentially battling eating disorders. I do believe that it's very clear that Eugenia Cooney has a really negative impact. I think it's very clear. Um, and that's why it's a gray area. That's why I, that's why I kind of want to hear opinions on that, you know what I mean? Her family should have gotten her help. Shane Dawson didn't help. He ignored what the therapist, psychologist said. Um, okay, but you guys are answering about Shane. You guys are jumping ahead. I'm talking about, like, you, see, I, I, I don't even know what to, Okay, well, we're going to go on. I, I feel bad about everything. I do think that this should have been her story to tell, okay? And if she wasn't ready to tell it, if the reason Shane makes these videos, okay, is so that he's telling her story or because she's not ready to. I think that's a very clear sign that she's not ready to. And then people make the argument like I'm seeing about her fa or her mum um, and how the mum probably pushed for this as well. And it's like, I don't think this should have been made in general, but I don't think this should have been made if it wasn't 100% by Eugenia because it's her story. Like, I didn't mean to, like, make everyone upset. It's like, I don't know, like, everyone like, is mad at me now. Okay, so the petition to deplatform her got 19,000 views, or 19,000 signatures, sorry. I feel like I don't mean to make you guys upset, ever. And all of her videos are getting, like, more dislikes than likes, that's what just said. Right, like, I just hope you understand that. I never mean to, like, make people upset, like, ever. Like, never do I feel really bad. Like, Queen Halo said, I heard her family is toxic. She's 25. Right, yeah, I'm rooting for the most. I'm invested. Yeah, okay, did you guys hear that? It was a news person, and they went, this is the one I'm most excited for. I think people were more selfish to want to hear Eugenia's story. Mm, you know what I mean? I don't know, it's, it's a real gray area. And I'm also aware that there's a lot of like emotional manipulation with the clips used here and the music, and so I'm being very clear not to let that like affect my opinion. Mandy Monroe Press and yay, been waiting for another live stream. And yeah, Shane forced um 
himself in it when it wasn't even his story. Okay, so uh, Andrew is on his way. And Not the sad music with Shane, too. Okay, so he's sitting down like he's filming an apology video, and there's sad music playing. And we are going to be going to Eugene Cody's house. Let me start. Okay. From the beginning, for maybe some of you guys that don't know. This is my first time on here. Like, I don't really know what else to do, so. And then I have, like, this pillow over here. The audio is bad at this part, don't worry, it's not just the stream. So she started on YouTube six years ago, seven years ago. Especially with the tone he's speaking in. I mean, he obviously couldn't have been, like, you know, like, hey guys, today we're going to talk about Eugenia. I understand that. But just this, like, hey guys. Hi guys. As you can hopefully tell, I just got a new camera. Ever since then, she has been green tea visibly thin, and as the years went on, she got much thinner. I and still think, never... though. I still think this should have been like Eugenia coming on and saying this. You know what I mean? Hi, Andrea. Really talked about it. Never went into detail. Um, denied having an eating disorder. Um, you look really skinny. Is there a story behind it? Um, there isn't really a story. This is just kind of how my body is. I think is okay. That's a very clear sign that she was not ready for this. Riona Haggerty, thank you for the donation. Your class, your class, bitch. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That's so sweet. This was a documentary about her, not for her. Yeah. Um, the fact that Shane is like showing clips of her saying that she doesn't have, you know, and he's like, she does. It's kind of like. I'm fully fine, so don't worry. I, I'm, I'm not, like, anorexic or whatever. I'm just kind of naturally skinny. Seriously. Yeah, so I don't know what his purpose was for showing these clips because it kind of makes him look worse. So, like, my doctor, like, thinks I'm fine. There's nothing wrong. Am I okay? Yes, I'm definitely okay. Everything is fine. <laughs> You're killing yourself? I'm really not killing myself, Carl. But she was confronted with it a lot. I mean, every single comment on her channel, so many videos about her weight, about how she's making other young girls want to be anorexic because of And that's the question about her influence, you know what I mean? Hmm. Thy like Jess said, what happened to Jeffrey and Lipstick Nicks? They aren't following each other anymore. Are they not? Ooh, T, let me write that down. Um Someone said if it's like enablers around her. Yeah, I agree with what someone said before. This feels like a documentary on her, not for her. But she's very fragile. So. Her and obviously there was a lot of people who were using this situation for views. Did y'all just hear that? Jankin, thank you for the donation. That's so sweet. But did you guys just hear that? What he just said. Hold on, listen to this. To be anorexic. Wait, listen. Her and obviously there was a lot of people who were using this situation for views and clicks. And oh. Hey, I just want to say how real you are. It gives me strength to come out to my parents. Love you lots and thank you. That's so sweet. And we're all here to support you. If you know what? You're a real one. Fangirl 0101. Love you. Something about that is like... And, and so he's currently now showing videos of other people using her for clicks. Guys, make sure to like the stream! Like the video! Thank you.
Rina, oh my god, I'm from Gary too, and you give me confidence to make YouTube with our accent despite people telling me. Yeah, listen, all my comments are people bullying me for the, the dairy accent. You know what? We live and we learn and we just let them be. Thank you for the donation. And hey, for my dairy, it's late. Go to bed, but don't. Alexa said, oh, watch the Jacqueline. Yeah, I need to watch that. She was friend. Oh, the friend. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, it makes sense now. And thank you for the donation. Um, so yeah, the fact that I just want to, sorry, I'm just going to replay that one more time. So many videos about way about Aaron Kudrow. Hey, Adam, you made the oh, it's right here, Aaron. Oh my God. Aaron made me this. Happy birthday, Aaron Kudrow's mom. Happy birthday. And you're watching Disney Channel. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Making other young girls want to be anorexic because of her and Obviously, there was a lot of people who were using the situation for views or clicks. And if you guys, but the thing was, there's many videos of Shane making fun of her in the past. Um, I will watch the Jacqueline Glenn thing. I wrote it down. Happy late birthday, Amy Hill. Like this video and, and, and what Eugene need to get healthy, pop a like on this video. But then there was also a lot of people who really didn't care, who really wanted her to get help. The people who are actually nice to her and are worried about her, they care about her. You are young enough you're real to you are. turn this all around. You're junior. I really hope you're okay. I don't want to see somebody so good and kind and caring just disappear. So back in January, uh, she posted a video. It's the music for me. Oh my god, it's like that challenge. Like the, It's the, for me, it's the music for me. It's the lack of self-awareness for me about Shane, no. And uh, people were really scared for her and then she kind of disappeared. With some believing she had passed away as her uploads got more spaced out. And I think we all knew how things looked. How did people expect Eugenia to get better whenever she would take a break to look after herself and they would immediately start saying that she died? You know what I mean? It's like a constant battle. So I, I, yeah, I was freaking out. Um, so I reached out to her and she was like, I've been dealing with stuff, but um, I am going to get help. Okay, so she was going to, she said to Shane, she was getting help and he was like, let's make this docuseries. Let's make a YouTube video. Um... So I'm trying to read the chat here. Christine's vanity. Love your vids. Do the damn thing. <laughs> Thank you so much. Someone said, please save the stream. I will. Um, it seems a bit weird. Um, okay. I just, yeah, someone said about like young people watching this. Gia, thank you. The young people watching this who could struggle with the same thing Eugenia did, and that's kind of just like a, you know, like, a, why wasn't my recovery this speedy? And that I do have a P.O. box. Oh, and I got a bunch of things today for the birthday video that I'm doing for my 18th birthday. Thank you all so much. I'm like, oh, Adam, you're a bad bleep. Thank you. She's never, never, ever said that she needed help. Like, it was, it's one of those things. Okay, well... That's a clear sign, in my opinion. You know what I mean? She said she doesn't need help. So don't rush to make a docu-series about her. Docu-series. Vlog. She like... Can you document your road to recovery? It would help a lot of people. You know, guys, I'm not, like, in, like, recovery or anything like that. Like, I really, like, I don't really feel like I have to, like, go get, like, help right now or anything. You know, so... Okay. But do you understand, like, showing that clip, it proves the narrative that she wasn't ready. So for her to say that to me, I was like, oh my God, like I just started crying. And I was just like, oh 
oh my god this is it 24 year old eugenia cooney announced that she will be taking a break from youtube and social media to focus on her health so now that she's out of rehab and wants to tell her story and she trusts me and knows that okay so he did story. he did say there that i mean she wants to tell her story and that she trusts shame so i mean we have no one else's word on that she's never declined that so we're just gonna have to go off of what he said so do this right my hope and her hope is that this could help a lot of people so what is this music in the background it's like dubstep no that's why we're doing this and i want to make sure i can somehow help her come back and feel comfortable okay this is my thing right if you wanted to help her like great i don't know your intentions but all i'll say is if she trusts you and you want to get her help like even doing it off camera and then maybe doing like a vlog together mm. ema said why are you talking about this seems like you're running out of content i'm actually 20 videos like late on content i have like 20 videos that i need to catch up on trust me darling I'm not running out of content might be fun if i was though uh, Rena, honestly, yeah, she and the whole empath thing. Um, how are we good having you actually take this rationally? Well, thank you. Um, Samantha said, Shane has a god complex, like he thinks above all criticism. It's it's a really like, thank you, Samantha, and thank you, Rena. Um, okay, so. And hopefully, have a chance to start. This to me feels like the most important thing I've ever done. Like it feels very much like, oh, this is like I I don't want to. I want, to, I want to do this right now, so, okay, let's do this. So it's like, um, King has loads for us. Let me tell you that I have, um, the videos, like, done and ready to go up until, like, the 20th of September. You know I be working hard! Just black screen. Can tell what oh my god, not the therapist girl. What is she, like? Um, she's not the, like, I don't think she's the therapist. What, what is she again? The Katie girl. What, what's her name? Or what is her job title? Is she like a, a scam artist? What, what is she? She's a specialist. She's a therapist. She's a counselor. She's a psychologist. Jesus, she has so many titles. My question is, how is he helping her by making a uh, piece of shit? I agree, Mandy Monroe. Therapist. Oh, okay. A lot of videos that show her body. Jesus, sorry, the music is so light. As a YouTuber, I know. Seeing comments of people going, well, she's just beat. You know? Just pick up a burger. And it's like, oh, it's not how this works. Okay, so. By not addressing it, if young people are going to watch her videos and potentially want to be her son. Okay, so here comes the therapist. Several different Oh my god, I haven't seen her since the Jake Paul thing. Hi there, it's Katie again. The more we keep oh my god, that was so awkward. They like just cut to like one of her videos and she went, Hi there, it's Katie. The more power they have over us. Because the one thing we don't want to do is not talk about. So this is the girl, if you don't know. Katie is not very good because she tells people what they want to hear. Mm. Thank you, Aoife, by the way. It's the intense music for me. They said you don't want to force the conversation. Okay. This is what this video seems like. I remember this Katie girl got so much backlash after this went up. Managing our emotions in a more healthy and constructive way. Because we need everybody involved with the right, great support system to get a healthy mind and a healthy body. Okay, so Katie said she needs to give a talk on burnout. <laughs> okay, so first... <laughs> 
not so I don't know who's gonna be there. I don't know if your family's gonna be there. I don't know if it's. Oh, hello. Oh, term- Hi. Why are you covering your show? No one can see you. Wait, where's person? What is happening? Hey, what are you doing? No, don't do that. What are you doing? You're not in camera. All right, guys. Well, I'm really sorry. I'm gonna go. So. I know my lawyer is coming for a second, but that's just because we have a release form that, like, you have to make sure you're not liable. Like, and I also don't want people to think that I have a comment. Like, I know that she has an eating disorder because I just don't have patient, you know? It's really weird that they're, like, all talking about her behind her back as well. Bye, Rocky. You know what I mean? Also, Trisha Paytas' Starbucks cup is in the background of this. Yeah. Nice. So, but I can't tell you like what eating disorders are, what they are. People often assume that eating disorders only look one way. Mm-hmm. Oh my god! And he shows the Wikipedia page for that. An eating disorder is just when people are too skinny and they need to eat a sandwich and get over it. Like that's what you hear. Like that's like a complete misconception and myth, right? Like, and that's the eating disorders are coping skills. You know this. Mm-hmm. Like. I don't know how to cope with what I'm going through, so I'm just using food as a way to deal. Too much or not enough is all the same. But I don't know. I don't know her story. You don't know her story. Like, she just said it. You know what I mean? Hi, you were my recommended. Oh my god, Susan Bestie working overtime to push me. Love Susan. Susan, if you're watching. The fact that, like, they're like, we don't know her story. Oh, my God, how beautiful is this, by the way? Thank you, Susan, again. The fact that they don't know her story, it's like, oh, my God, people are like, are people, like, getting this and they're recommended? This is a live stream. I didn't think that could happen. But, I mean, hey. Can we get some thank you, Susans, in the chat? That's the thing, too. It's like, I don't think anybody really does, you know? I don't know. Yeah, nobody knows her story. Wait for her to say I have a lot of, okay, so I have a lot of Yeah, time. guys, please like the live stream. Let's get this and more people's recommended. <laughs> it just likes the video. It's like y'all dragging the therapist is everything. I, like, don't know if she's a real therapist. Oh, my God, everyone doing thank you, Sissons. Susan C. Yes, this is Arena Soama. Okay. Questions about how to do this right and also, like, Did he not- just say he Googled how to do these questions right? trigger people watching but also her like could, okay for example if i walk in and like i haven't seen her if she don't comment on her she looks okay yeah that's an that's like that's a good start the katie girl just went don't comment on how she looks isn't that a given uh, that's not a thing. okay i know that sounds bad but imagine like even if i come up i was like oh my god you look so good You'd be like that's because i look like shit before like your brain just like kicks it up or if you're like, oh, you look so healthy. It's like this, like, fake, deep shit. I can't. And her brain should be like, I look so fat. Oh my god, like, no, I already did that to her. Because, oh, fuck. A pixel. Bianca, thank you. It's a fun name, Bianca Walker. Thank you. Someone said it's the music for me. It's okay, not paying attention for me. So I was scrolling through Twitter and I saw this picture of Eugenia Cooney a few weeks ago. And yo, the girl seems like she's actually recovering. People were excited and they were posting, you know, kind of like, oh, she's getting healthy. And I even sent her a text and I was just like, hey, like, oh my God, like I cried looking at the picture. Like you look so healthy, you look so good. I'm so proud of you. And she was just like, oh, thank you. Like I didn't know he was going to post that. Like whatever and now i'm like oh fuck should i not accept that I mean, so people, eugenia cooney as well say like about. didn't really give consent to a photo of her being posted about her recovery it's just like the entire situation is very weird i just know from my patients and viewers alike that like your eating disorders takes that information and turns it into an insult but that's not your fault you don't know oh my god like Shane's like on the counter like this right now. Just like give you a little visual. We just want to stay away from like I said, any comment on how they look, which I know just is hard, especially if you're like, oh my God, you look so good. And we mean it in a very earnest, like, I'm so happy for you. I was really worried away, but it can just be misconstrued and taken into like eating disorder chaos. I guess I just have so many questions. And that's an 
this is like a lot to like handle. Sydney Baker, I love you. You're, you're so positive yet so real. Oof, thank you. Achi said, it's the lack of self-awareness for me. Um, the music is odd. A Red said, you guys keep reaching and reaching. My arms have not reached. Like, we're just watching this. Music makes it sound like a BuzzFeed Unsolved. It's just personally, but I don't know which ones are overstepping the line. Why do you guys like speak to spin so much? I don't get it. Like, why didn't she say things for so long? Like, why was she like in denial or was she delusional? That suddenly all these people think like, oh, you're a liar, you're such a horrible person. But no, I don't lie to my ears. Um, I want to know how did she do so much? Like, and I don't know if that's like triggering to say that, but like, I mean, she was walking, she was holding up camera, she was like running around high energy, happy all the time. Like, that's you, what you saw on camera, though. Do you know what I mean? Like, a lot of my patients who are underweight, and not doing well, can do a lot in a short period of time. You're pretty much running on adrenaline, and a lot of times when we have an eating disorder that causes us to be underweight, our body runs on that. I just, I'd assume that was what was going on. I don't know. What do you guys think about the, like, therapist, or... I still don't know what her job title is. Everyone's giving me, like, thing. What do you like about her being, like, I don't know. Like, I assume this is what it is. Do you know what I mean? Kaylee said, I think he forgot she's not an internet mystery. She's a real person. Um, Everyone's talking about BuzzFeed and so... Hope M, first of all, my BF is from NA, and I want to move... Oh, well, um, Christy isn't the best. I watched her video. It did not help me at all. I need to look more into it, and thank you for that. Say hi to your boyfriend as well. She seems unprofessional, self-declared. Um, she's triggering. She's unprofessional. Okay. But that might be why she was able to do more than we would think. Like, she's just not But I mean, asking her that, I mean, you could say, I mean, maybe the way to phrase things, first of all, talking to her ahead of time, seeing where she's coming sharing but i think maybe the way to phrase things is like not how are you able to do xyz it's more like was it difficult keeping up with things or was it easy versus like this seems impossible that can be like right. oh i don't know you know she might okay not be so comfortable i don't know one thing i know it feels really weird that they're like i get this is probably what you have to do and like this is beyond like i don't know what therapists do in general but like you know like preempting what they think the client is going to say so that they have like a comeback. Noticed while I was looking at all the videos, and I guess I'll find out when I see her tomorrow, but like she changes her voice a lot. Hi guys. Hey guys, it's Eugenia. So like when I was going through, I was seeing like old videos where she had a deep voice. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And then as the years went on, her voice got higher and higher and higher. Hey guys, it's Eugenia. Um, Hi guys. Uh -huh. And then it just kind of got more and more like a character or something. Mm -hmm. So I don't know tomorrow if I'm going to meet her real self, all the walls down, just being herself. I feel like... I'll That's a weird one for me because I feel like this is... Eugenia, you know what I mean? Like, her doing something to be more comfortable doesn't mean it's any less than her. A lot of people, it, it helped them out, which was wonderful. Or if I'm going to meet the character. I'm also kind of like, not necessarily even like... Which maybe is a coping thing. I mean, Sydney, also thank we you. can say that like most of us have like a, an on. Jassy said if he wants the walls down, he shouldn't record it. She's going to be herself in front of someone she doesn't know holding a camera in her face. I can't believe this was like their first time meeting as well. And if we're feeling really, let's say you're sick and feeling like shit, you know you have to film. You're going to get a little more amped. And I'm sure she's just trying to get more amped for it. So I don't know. It depends on how she's, how she's doing and how comfortable she feels. She might feel really uncomfortable on, you know, the persona, which is fair. I mean, and it's I the should, first time she's talking about it. And I shouldn't bring that up. Yeah. It's just her doing the best she can, you know? But I, I would assume it's because it's hard. Like, we know it's hard what she's doing. 
I can't imagine sharing that person with a story. Because mm-hmm. people do want to hear her story, right? It's not, yes. not, it's not too soon. You know what I mean? It's like people want to hear her story. But it's like, this way, really? Like everything taken back, this is a person. No, I mean, it's a lot to her. Honestly, no one knows when it's okay for someone to tell something other than the person telling it. This is the most my of views we've had on a live stream in a long time. What's going on? Y'all must be bored. <laughs> Make sure to like the stream, like the video as well. If she's been wanting to, which it sounds like she has for a while, I think that's all good. They're basically saying as well, they're like, this is the, they basically said this is like, we assume she wants to talk about it. Shane didn't even say that. The The therapist girl was like, I assume she wants to talk about it now. You know what I mean? Like, she didn't say she wants to talk about it. You're assuming. And as a therapist, should you really be like, she wants to talk about this? I don't wanna, I guess- I'm- Nina, thank you. She's a family and marriage therapist. What? What the fuck? I'm just nervous to like, well, if I can interject for a second, mm-hmm. she said that she wanted you to like help- Oh my God, I'm here, hey. So you're just doing your best and you're just being there for her, so. Yeah, and I think if, if anybody could do it, like you could, cause you know, like you- Okay, so first of all, what Andrew just said was that um, like she just wants to be comfortable. And it's like, if I was in Shane's situation back then, I would so much rather have went and had a conversation with her, even spent like two days with Eugenia, no cameras, know anything like talking and getting to know the person. Um, You've been there yourself. Yeah, let me set you down. So now they're talking about Shane's journey too. Here we go. Hey, this is kind of weird. She probably feels safer doing it with you, you know? Versus on her own. But yeah, I think it'll be helpful for people. Not the, not Katie, the fucking um, therapist going, "Ah, I think it'll help her. Like, sighing. Girl, isn't this your job? Oh my god. To see Hi, Julie. Someone in it, you know? And to know that recovery is possible. Was this series monetized? If it was, that's a little sus. Well, basically, he doesn't have any ads on right now, but I would assume it was. Um. It's cool. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm sorry, this is just like nitpicking, right? But it's like, I need to like get to this. Um, I rate Pirate. Adam, I just wanted to let you know I love your content and I'm basically blunt not as you are. Oh, gets me in trouble, but thank you. Okay, you know in Shane's series, whenever like Andrew records and then they put the camera down and then they still talk? Like, it's been so many series, it's like, you know he's still recording. <laughs> sorry, it's just, the fuck is this music changed? A little jazzy moment? Is he drinking a Red Oh, I thought he was drinking a Red Bull. It looks like Red Bull. <laughs> what is that? You know, a normal diagram. Blueberry acai. Oh shit, I was supposed to laugh. <gasps> Elevator music. Ice cream by selfing. Yes, stream it. Also stream Katie's album, so good. The way woman dominating. Oh my god, this is so intense. And what am I doing? Should I be the person doing this? Like, I'm not Oprah, I'm not Dr. Phil. Who's here? Oprah? <laughs> Dr. Phil? <laughs> oh, it's Rylan. Hey. Flavor diet coke. Something must be wrong. I was just saying how last night I freaked out about everything. And I almost thought, like, maybe I shouldn't do this. I think it will be okay. I mean, you should be more. Of course, you do, Ryland. You literally have been a part of like 
Um, yeah, so basically, they're saying about how um, Rylan actually used to talk about her all the time on his, like, Clever News or News Feed or something like that. Um, I love BTS. I literally have been playing the Dynamite music video, like, fucking on repeat. It's an issue. I love Tay. Soft Emmy. Bye. Um, he said, don't drag me into this. The thing was, Ryland's job before he, like, got Shane's money, if we're going to be real, was doing what drama channels do. <laughs> like, Ryland used to talk about Shane, too. Like, you can come for us. Jenna, honestly, uh, has knowledge of the topic, but it's almost like she doesn't emphasize that she needs to sit on hug. Yeah, I agree. And thank you for the donation. By Eugenia, and they made two videos, and the thumbnail title was bad. I mean, I didn't make the thumbnail. I mean, is Eugenia Cooney? Okay, so it's a, the title of the, of the, sorry, the title of Rylan's video on Eugenia was, uh, I love it, see. Da -la, da -la. I love that song. Um, was Rylan's video on Eugenia was called Is Eugenia Too Skinny? And this is the thumbnail. But us making videos on Ryland this is crossing the line. Did you put that emoji there? No! Alright, I'm gonna go get one. Good luck! Thank you. Come on, go today. And I was like, you know what? Aside from the. Red Velvet, I love them. Okay, our house. What is that? What is with the changing tone of this video, like mysteriously? I love Stray Kids and Twice, yes. What is her environment? Like, I can't even imagine her walking around a house. Like, she literally looks, and That's not because of her weight, but because of her vibe, like the timber hair. Like, is she just like, does she wake up like that? <laughs> does she float down? Okay. This is making jokes about her, though. NCT. I also love Lucas. Um, Monstex, yes, my friend wants to see. Guys, this is not a K pop stream. <laughs> Um, the fact that he's making, like, jokes about her looking like a car or a cartoon and stuff is, like, like, in this video. Okay. And the stairs, and she's just, like, holding her hand to the tree comes up. You know what I mean? Like, oh, I can see that. That's the vibe. Yeah. What is her life? Yeah, I guess nobody really focuses on that. She does have, like, a very specific aesthetic. And she's also too nice. She's probably hiding something. <laughs> oh, my God. It's almost like Shane. Oh, I turned into that. What is she doing? <laughs> oh, weird. What are you hiding, yeah, Shane? You're better, but what else? <laughs> Wait, did you try? What did he say? Yeah, I did something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I turned into that. What is she doing? <laughs> oh, weird. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're better, but what else? <laughs> Y'all hear what he just said? He was like to um, Eugenia, yeah, yeah, you're better. What are you hiding? Wait, just drag her. <laughs> okay. It's gonna get serious, I know that. But until it does, I want to have fun with you. So, we're going to Yes, he wants to have fun with it. Booty's house. I don't know what to expect. This is crazy. This is, like... I don't know, like... Sorry, we're just playing music, so I'm, like, turning this down. It's the dramatic thumbnails for me. Okay. They're leaving and going to Eugenia's house tonight. Is Eugenia Kumi too skinny? So, this was like Rylan's job, too. Rylan's job was a YouTube drama channel. And let's be real, Rylan was getting paid way more than drama channels do. This was Rylan's job. Uh, Tatiana, you're amazing. Thanks for making my day. Oh my god, I love them too. Why, why is this like a multi stream? Um, okay, this music is okay. Cheeto the cat is very cute. I just saw, I haven't like looked at the their cat in a long, but very cute cat. It's like the Garfield color. Love it. Instead, all this royalty free music is destroying me. 
they feel like they have leverage on your life. Okay, can we like, can we get into this? Oh my god, not the more music. While this music just plays, it's like Rylan talking shit about her and then thing. Emily, I'm somebody who's recovered from an eating disorder and is educated on the subject. That's a terrible idea in general. Well, thank you for your comment. Um, I'm so sorry, and I hope you're doing a lot better. I hope you're thriving. What does he say? You can't pursue your own creative endeavors if you work with it. Yeah, but you sign up to work with them, knowing what you're going to have to do. Let's be real. Okay, so he's going over to her house, um, and they're just, like, playing really loud music right now. Okay, can we, like, I'm sorry. Can we, like, please get into this? Okay, I'm skipping. I'm skipping. Okay, here we go. Now he is arriving at the house. Sorry, we are back. Okay, he's knocking on the door. Oh, I should show you this part. Hi. Hi. Oh my gosh, it's so good to see you. Uh, how are you? Oh, thank you. Your shirt looks so cool. Who is this? Who is that? Yeah, why'd he open the door for her? Okay, so the guy who opened the door is literally just like lingering behind her. The, her brother. She has a lot of crystals around her house. Not everyone's saying save Cheeto. Y'all stop. Okay, I'm gonna skip in until they start talking actually. Okay, here we go. Well, you are gorgeous too. Thank you. I appreciate that. I think you'd probably be a little prettier if you weren't dying. Uh, okay. Well, um, it can be like really hurtful, I think, sometimes, and like make you feel like really lonely and stuff because you just like feel like everyone kind of like hates you. And I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm alive right now, but, but thank you for saying you're gorgeous, I guess. Um, but for me, it's kind of hard to imagine like being really mean to people. I would just like never want to make someone feel like that. So you're a gorgeous person. So, you know, I think that you're gorgeous no matter what. But yeah. Bye. All right. Bye. Okay. Um, all right. That's just nice. Um, I don't know. Sometimes I just assume like they're like behind the screen. Maybe they don't really like realize that what they're saying to people can actually like really be like damaging, really hurtful. I just never really want to like be me back. I can't believe someone joined her live stream to say that. Like, Totally Everyone's saying about the mom. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, wait, I want to see the your other. Yeah. So you like him? I do, though. I do. I do like him. Yeah. Yeah. You know, he's he's a really nice guy. Though. She's like doing a room tour right now. Hold on. He's cool. Let me skip in when she starts talking. <laughs> oh, I thought of it. I thought of it. I didn't. I didn't tell. Him. I went to the orchestra concert. It was really good. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. That was pretty recently, actually. <laughs> nice people. They're just. So they're basically doing like, you know what's so weird? The entire time that they're talking, like her mom is lingering in the background. Yeah. And her brother. Have you had any friends or anybody? I know there was a lot of people just being like, "Oh, your friends aren't helping. Your friends aren't doing anything. Whatever." But I'm sure behind the scenes, I'm sure. Yeah, there were some people that were. Then there was kind of some people that kind of like really weren't really. There was almost like some people that like you never really said anything to me like before, but then like later on, were kind of like kind of like bullying me into like trying to make like decisions for me. Is that the Jacqueline Glenn girl? 
<clears throat> that must be Jacqueline Glenn, because y'all said that, right? Yes, okay. And kind of like they were just not wanting to listen to me at all, not really wanting to hear like how I'm feeling. I hate that she doesn't know that that's literally what Shane's doing to her as well. So I guess that's kind of hard. Um, but then I also have like, you know, good people in my life that like generally like, like really do care. All right, that was my dad dies. So yeah, he's, he's pretty cool. Did you guys see him? And it's like her also, family. Also, um, Booty Pie actually like made a video where he mentioned me and he like sent all his fans to like come over and be like really like loving and like supportive. And I just really want people to send her uh, as much support and love as possible. And I mean, Beauty Pie, while he, PewDiePie, okay, PewDiePie came after Taddy really, really bad, like, I did a video on that if you want to see that, but one thing PewDiePie does do is if he sees someone in the community, like, getting really attacked, he normally makes a video where he's like, guys, we need to, like, step in, because he's a huge fan base, so, um, I did like that PewDiePie made that video. I really mean that. I think that's the only thing she needs right now. Like those kind of messages, I think, are the ones that are like the most helpful. Also, Her not lawyer. Like, attacking me, like you know, trying to like be like, oh, you're like a horrible person, like kill yourself, and those kind of messages, like that kind of stuff. I just kind of feel like kind of puts you in like a worse mindset, at least like for me, where it kind of makes it like harder to want to help yourself. Like some of the videos, they just seem like really like floor guy. Kind yeah, of, they just kind of made me feel like a lot more like lonely and. Okay. Okay, so now they're, um, oh my god, some of these, like, drama channel videos on her are, like, the thumbnails are disgusting. They're, like, swearing her out and stuff. Um, they're, he's showing these as, like, the videos that were coming after her. But, like, Rylan's video was, like, is she too skinny and, like, a thumbnail of her, like, you know what I mean? I would never wish any like, bad for them, but it definitely makes it kind of hard to, like, trust those kind of people, I think. What is with this fucking jazz change? Yeah. Hi, girl. This was actually um, a lot more I guess, but it's off now. Yeah, that was another thing that like, <laughs> it was weird. It's very heavy. Oh my god. Okay, guys, look at this. This is the lock for the like to get out of the house. That look, and like he picks it up. Look. So they took the lock off for Shane to come over, but it's normally look at that. What? This is like. Oh my god, there's more locks too. Oh my god, she can't even open them. So so Shane unlocked all of them and he looked at the camera like this. And it's like that could have been a conversation that like something is happening at home, you know what I mean? That's that's really scary and if this therapist, Katie, was there, I'm sure she would have, like, picked up on that if that's really her job. Um, Eugenia also said she was like, you figured it out better than me that I can't open them. Um, that's quite alarming. The old owners installed it still. Oh, damn. Oh my god, the mom is literally like lingering in the background of all these clips. Oh my god, and the lawyer, look, like the fucking lawyer is like in the background of all these. Oh, thank you. <gasps> that is weird. Look at this. Okay, so they're sitting right here. The fucking lawyer and mom are sitting on the table over, and like this is their outside garden. What is happening? What is happening? The guy who took your hair. Yes. He did, yeah. The girl seems like she's actually recovering. Which is so... So this was the picture of her. Um, um, if I'm correct, Shane posted that as well. No, oh, I really hope this is really her. I think I texted you. Yeah, I'm really actually, so nice about it. I was like, maybe I shouldn't have done that. No, but, no, I appreciated it. But when you see that, are you like, 
still figuring out who that person is because you've looked a certain way for so long. The mom is she, literally recording them as we speak. You know. I mean, I guess like for me, sometimes I do find like I can be kind of like critical of myself. Um, I look really bad here. This is just one where I'm like, like, are there like any makeup there? I don't know. I guess I've never really had like the highest self-esteem, which you know I'm trying to like work on and stuff. You know, I think it is like really good though that like I did make that decision to um, get myself back to like a healthy place and to like do what is like what I should be doing. And is that something too that is going to be? I think I would have appreciated this without the money or without the money without the music. You know what I mean? I would have really appreciated it without the music. Big adjustment, like... Well, I wouldn't have really appreciated it, but I mean, I would have, like, appreciated it more than this. I don't think the video should have been made, but... Because there's going to be, I'm sure even on this video, I'm sure yeah. there's going to be a lot of comments which looks so great, and then kind of comparing it to the last time they saw you, particular video, right, yeah. to now, and then are you prepared for that? I guess it's... I guess it kind of is, like, an adjustment, like, seeing, like, what people will say and, like, seeing those comments and to try to, like, view it as a good thing. That, like, they're trying to, like, you know, make positive comments towards. Even here, she's not confident in herself. You know what I mean? Like, she's not confident that she's ready for it. So it, it should have been, like, a, okay, how about we, like, pause the filming on this and we, like, come back and, like, decide if we want to continue this in a while. You know what I mean? Yeah, if that makes sense. What age is Eugenia? Okay, so Shane was like, where should we talk about this? She is 26. Okay. Um, so Shane was like, where should we talk about the situation? And she looks over for validation from her like mom and lawyer. Oh, and they're getting up now at the same time they are. It's weird. What did they think Shane was going to do with her? Um, that like they're keeping such an eye on. Yeah. Okay, now they're interviewing the elevator music. Ugh, Andrea is just like pointing the camera at her, right? And it's like she li looks so uncomfortable. And it's like, I think a lot of this should have been done off camera. Oh, Most sorry. all. No. Oh my God. <laughs> no, it was just the light in the camera. Oh, okay. I want to hear you tell your story. Okay. Okay, so there's no music right now. I hope it stays like this. Um, I've never there's music. Never heard mind. you say, A, that you like, have or had a problem, right. and B, what it is. It's the okay. music. Yeah. So I think maybe starting there, if mm -hmm. that's not too hard. So. Yeah, I think, that, I think that should be okay. Um, so yes, um, I was like dealing with an eating disorder. Um, as for like, I guess like labels, with, with things like that, um, I guess like something that I've also kind of learned going through it and seeing like other people that were like also there that even though like a lot of people can be like dealing with eating disorders, mm -hmm. that like each person's story and each person's, um, like experience with it can be like really different and really like individual. People often assume that you just- What is with this like fucking bassy ass music? She wasn't ready. And now they're, they're like stopping Eugenia from saying her story so we can go back to Katie. Girl, it's 3 a.m. Why we up? So I guess like with me, um, it's the music. Like there and um but also like just to just okay so eugenia is current look at this okay eugenia is currently talking I guess, like... and they like 
while she's talking, they like mute the audio of her talking so it can go back to Katie. Look. Labels Wait. Things like that. Um, I guess they, like the details of that were kind of like privately there. Okay, and, wait. Um, but also Look. Like, to just keep it from feeling too. Like she was continuing on talking. Like that, that shows that she's not in control of the narrative. Whether you like Shane, oh shit, sorry. Whether you like Shane, you like Katie, you like Eugenia, you like Eugenia's mom, you don't like any of them. It's very clear that she didn't have any control of the narrative because she's talking and they've muted her talking. Like, someone said that's wild. It is wild. It's like bizarre. Yeah, because that's not the goal. The I mean, goal is to like help her tell a story that's beneficial for everyone. Okay, well, let her tell the story. It was definitely like an eating disorder, okay. but yeah, they just, I guess they really get too labely, but if that makes sense. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> um, it's, okay, it's very clear that she's not comfortable, and I think Okay, we're so I'll speak on my experience because okay. I don't want to put words in your mouth. I always knew that I had a disorder. I always was very self-aware and i was always very like i know this is bad i know i shouldn't be doing this i feel guilty i feel embarrassed like when i would be being thrown into the bathroom i i mean i was doing it with like friends in the other room and i was like hiding it and trying to whatever very it's a very shameful thing it took me a long time to even talk about it uh i look in the mirror and i see a huge person so i think my question for you is like was it hard and is it hard right now to like literally really talk about it because i feel like even now it's a little bit like i don't want to push you too far but you know i think you know i don't know i, I can't imagine what you went through because i feel like you, you kind of always have a smile so i'm like trying to like put myself and see what it was and i feel like it like what was your day-to-day -day before getting help yeah and you know i guess like before there kind of would be like times where i guess i realized like hey like i'm not like eating enough i really probably should be taking better care of myself and like i i would have people like my mom my like, jonathan and, like, my family and my parents and everything that would be like you really should be like you know taking care of yourself better and like eating more and um you know like would be like bringing that up to me and obviously like, the internet there's a lot of people talking about that um Mm, uh, Emerald, hi, Austin, Texas. And you're watching Adam Channel. <laughs> uh, I don't know how to feel. I guess it's like in a way. The music's like, throwing me off so like, much. Even like smoking or something, where like people kind of like know in their brain, like, hey, you know, I should stop this, but it's and then like sometimes I guess you'll kind of go through periods or like you're you're better about it, yeah. but like it's kind of hard i guess to like just like to totally like stop and totally like stop what you're doing and to actually like go and try to like be better and like get help for myself what do you remember it started yeah and um you know it's it's kind of weird with me i guess because like even like when i was younger i've always i really always have been like pretty like naturally like small, I guess. I mean, like in school, like I dealt with like a lot of bullying and that kind of thing. I think that like definitely like when- Sorry, I will talk more in a second. I'm just like, I'm like letting them talk and then we'll talk, okay? So we will talk in a second, but- People like not being so nice- The music, tra okay, one thing I will say is um, whenever you do audio tracks on like Final Cut Pro or Premiere Pro, they have audio levels. Currently, I would say the audio level for the microphone is about 50%, and I would say music is about 39-41%. Like, it's almost equal. The music is quite distracting. And make you feel more insecure and, like, stick with you, kind of. Then, I guess, kind of, like, as things were going forward, obviously, I, I was, like, losing more weight, and I was kind of, like, not really acknowledging that and kind of just being, like, oh, I'm okay, like, whatever, and not really, like, seeing that it was like a really big problem. And then that's when I just like started making videos and all of that and my channel started like- growing. Eugenia has a very pretty smile. Going a bit. Then there was like certain people that would like make videos about me and like talk about my body a little bit. It kind of like was really affecting me like really badly and like making me feel really bad and like not taking care of myself like really in like a really bad like mind state. 
I guess it just kind of was like progressing and I wasn't like really doing much. Jesus, this music is so light. But can you imagine how much more impactful this would be, honestly? If it was like no music? In my opinion, anyway. I got to the point where I really realized it would be a good idea to like get some help for that. Okay, well. Yeah. Getting help. Right. So, what was it like? Because we kind of tiptoed uh -huh. around it, but like, right. <laughs> you went somewhere. So I did, yes. So, and yeah, I was in um, a like, rehab kind of program for it. And it was a really kind of weird experience, I guess. Because it's definitely like when you go from like being in like the real world to entering that, like it's so different. They like weigh you and all of that, but they don't really tell you how much you weigh. I guess they kind of keep that like in their little yeah, their little like, sections. <laughs> uh, I, personally, I don't think it's the time for jokes. She said they don't tell you how much you weigh when you went to. Re there's not long left. Um, I think there's like. 12 minutes of footage left. Um, so she went, like, they didn't tell me how much I weighed, and Shane was like, I would love that. I'm just going to replay that. Because it's definitely, like, when you go from, like, being in, like, the real world to entering that, like, it's so different. They, like, weigh you and all of that, but they don't really tell you how much you weigh. I guess they kind of keep that, like, in their little, yeah, little, like, sections. <laughs> So you don't actually like get, I guess you don't really know like what's going on with that exactly. It, it can be kind of like boot campy in a way or like it's very like, like scheduled. Like you wake up at a certain time and some days they'll kind of like check your vitals and maybe do a blood test. Days, and days and like make sure everything's going all right. Then you also can have like therapists coming in. Inpatient is like where I work. Back to Katie. The hospital setting. I worked in an inpatient where it's like a home. And they're all working together and there's groups and there's a lot of like observation is the thing about it observations they call it to make sure that you aren't like throwing food away or throwing it up or compensating <laughs> in some fashion as you're like eating you're kind of like watched yeah. and then afterwards like for meals it would be like an hour observation and for like snacks it would be like half an hour when you go to the bathroom you actually have someone like observing you they'll be like outside the door so it's a lot of like being watched which is definitely really strange um and then um as long as you're i guess like following the program and following the rules then you can kind of like slowly earn privileges back like so okay so you're monitored a lot mm -hmm. wonder how long she was in there for they, yeah they do put you in like a food plan and how they would do it was um you would kind of have like i guess like some say in it but they would kind of like slowly increase it and um be giving you more so definitely like it kind of can seem like a lot when you're like going in there and suddenly like having to like eat so much yeah. so um was it a month oh yeah, sorry i didn't kind of i guess kind of hard first um and you know while i was there like okay one thing that's been happening that i haven't talked about is continuously while she is talking they are not showing her face like the video it's like showing overlays of rehab and like of like cartoon people going to rehab and like in movies of rehab and from an editor's point of view i don't agree with that i think if she's telling her story they should focus on her and her face and her visual i don't think that they should be showing clips from like movies and showing clips from like um like different programs that you can find on youtube whatever i feel like more impactful like strip back music and like just her but that's that's just my opinion i mean if, if people can see it differently um i was i was kind of honestly like surprised like i wasn't really like when i moved out to la i wasn't really like regularly weighing myself and then when i did like find savannah out thank you my was, like, compared to before, it was kind of like shocking to me because i guess i didn't even realize like i had people telling me my mom and you know a lot of like some of my friends and stuff but i guess i didn't like really see that it was getting to that point really so at the same time like i guess i knew like i had to i just had to do it and like i had to um like follow the program and um like do what i had to do but yeah it definitely like when you're going into it it can definitely seem like a lot and like, is it exact? Um, okay. They filmed this series, like, I think 
a couple of days or a couple of weeks after she got out of rehab, I feel like maybe allowing her to like adjust at home would have probably made her feel more comfortable. Probably the easiest. So for a lot of people, the easiest. Going right back to Katie. And that's like your biggest fear, you know. But that is part of the recovery process, and a lot of people don't want to talk about that because it is it's like hard for people who are in it. Uh, I get a lot of questions every month about like how do I love my body at this weight? It's just like anything. You should just talk nicer to yourself about it. You know. I feel like it makes me look like <clears throat> like eating disorders are so hard because that was Shane showing um, clips of him. Right. So if you want like to know what that is, with food, I struggle with daily because uh-huh. I have to eat. <laughs> so it's almost like a constant, it's like being an alcoholic and having to drink every. It's like uh-huh. a weird like thing. I guess I'm trying to understand how you like got over that. What's your favorite fruit? Um, I don't know. Maybe apples or something. Cause like, cool. or are you? Or are you still figuring that out? And you know, now I would definitely say I'm doing a lot better with things now, and that now I'm definitely like trying to make sure to like I'm eating enough and not like letting things get back to the point that it was at. Wow, wow, you're in it. Like it definitely like seems like so much sometimes. Um, and they'll get you like breakfast and all of that. And then later they'll come in and like you'll have like a snack. Then later. Yeah. So there's more like movie clips being shown there. Um. Like while she's talking. I don't know, like trying to give context or something like. Later they had lunch and then they had like another snack and then, um, so it's a lot of, I guess, like eating. Hold on, I may as well show you because otherwise like you're like, what the fuck? Definitely like, seems like so much sometimes. Um, like they'll get you like breakfast and all of that. Then later they'll come in and like, you'll have like a snack. Then later they had lunch and then they had like another snack. And then, um, so it's a lot of, I guess, like eating. Yeah. yeah. And but then, I also yeah. think. <laughs> Okay, first of all, Shane made another joke. She said, it's just like a lot of eating, and Shane went, I'll go to rehab, because... And later they had lunch, and then they had like another just snack, wait. and then, um, so it's a lot of, I guess, like eating. Yeah, yeah and then... Okay, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds great. <laughs> okay, uh, I don't really need to say why that's inappropriate, but... Um, I feel like, hold on, Queen Halo, thank you. I'm a graduate film student. She ain't putting on all stock footage and makes it seem like, yes, I'm not genuine. I agree. And also, let's be real for a second. This series was marketed as something that could help others who were experiencing similar things. And putting, I'm not, I'm not a fucking therapist. I, I don't, uh, you know, what I mean, I don't, I do a YouTube channel, but in my mind, it could come across as triggering to people who are struggling watching this, and they're seeing like clips of people just eating food, like close-ups of eating food. Is any, does that make sense, or, or no? Because I feel like if someone is struggling with what Eugenia is struggling with, I'm watching, and even Eugenia watching this, and it's like clips, like that corn one we just watched of like close ups of people like just eating a bunch of food and eating crisps and like food, 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 food. It seems like a really, really bad idea. Okay, people are saying, okay, okay. Um, yeah, it seems. Um, Kiki Muffs, if you thought it was good, I didn't make it right after recovery. Breaks my heart. I know, it's just... Uh, you know what I mean? It's, yes, it's so what was the food? I know this is like totally... Oh my God, what was the food? Like, what was it? Was it good or was it kind of like... Um, Taste-wise, it wasn't really like too bad. Usually, like like breakfast, they did like pancakes or some like egg sandwich thing or something. So, yeah, it kind of. Yeah, so they would have <laughs> something. To say. Shane just like licked his lips and like looked down and now he's laughing. Abby, thank you for the donation. Um, I. Mm, I like that. And then they 
like picking you like even like a banana or like a fruit fruit cup kind of thing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's all. I keep checking that out. Yeah, and then. Um, She said about the frit, about getting frit, and he was like, yeah, I would just chuck that out the window. Like, like, then snacks, and then she would be like, like crackers or like chips. They would give you like fries and stuff like that. Oh, wow. so, yeah, so. So, what was a typical day before training? Did, did you, how did you? There's a lot of questions about food in here. Yeah, she looked like she was about to tear up and he's apologizing now. I feel really bad for her in this video. Your feelings are getting weird right no, here. No, so like, totally fine. Um, you know, it, it, it's. I guess I'm kind of lucky that, like, you know, a lot of people would like even like make videos, and this is kind of, I guess, like another reason I wouldn't always take things like that seriously when people would like make like concerns or sometimes like hateful comments. Uh, like people would like make theories of like my whole my hair is fake and crazy theories like that. Honestly, like it, it never has been. Like this is not. It was. This is. Abby, thank you. I've been hospitalized. Ho um, hospitalized. Very much. It's like, yeah, it's... I mean, thank you for your comment. Um, I'm just reading everyone's comments right now. I, I really don't um, know how to really respond. Jonathan, not much, but something to support your career. Jonathan, that's so sweet. Yeah, it. I don't really know how to respond, everyone. How's everyone feeling right now? We have we have ten minutes left. Hello, Bruno. Thank you for the donation. I'm underweight myself, but hearing people joke like, "Oh man, I wish I had your problem," is a really frustrating thing. I'm so sorry. I'm sing uneasy. I didn't realize it was this bad. If they said like there's no way your hair can actually be like that, like it's not real. It's either all extensions or hair the way. It's 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 definitely not hair. And I feel like I should have already noticed, but I guess it can be for for some people. It can be like the side effect that will happen is like some people will lose hair and they'll have like tooth damage and stuff like that. Which I guess I was really lucky that I didn't experience any of that because I guess it, it could have ended up being like that and could have ended up being a lot worse. Would you do a what I eat in a day video? Ah, uh, no, I don't think I would. God, she got asked so much on these live streams. Like, fuck. Marluca, thank you. It's sad. It was too soon. And her mom just sees health. Mental health comes first. So sad. I agree. And thank you for your donation. But also, I think what Marluca is saying is starting a, a like a conversation of how much, like, who who was the one who wanted to go to rehab? You know what I mean? It could have been Eugenia or it could have been the mom. But also, in my opinion, the mom seems to look at Eugenia like the money source. Um, yeah, people are just saying they feel really bad for her. Also, I would be embarrassed, like Katie, if you're like, a therapist and stuff that like your name is attached to something like this. And um, I, I, t I, I was still, like eating every day, but I guess it just wasn't really like that much, not really. which for me, I guess I just kind of wasn't really like realizing that I like should have been eating more, I guess. Um, I wouldn't ask her what she ate. Okay. Um, Okay, experience. so Katie said to Shane, I wouldn't ask her what she ate. And Shane says, okay, but didn't he literally just, like, literally get her to fucking describe every single meal? They do eat. It's just not very much. But I wouldn't ask her what she eats. And, like, yeah. <laughs> sorry, I'm, like, totally, like, all around the place. Sorry. Eugenia is literally crying here. She's tearing up and she says she's all over the place and she's getting flustered. And it's like, I feel like I would never do this documentary and I would never go ahead and it would never go on this far. But I feel like at this point, at least you would be like, okay, stop the cameras, you know, like a second, like, we'll, we'll pick it up in a sec. 
this is I don't know if they the per girl is literally crying. You know what I mean? It's like this clip is not that important. I know they probably wanted to get her crying. I know they probably wanted it for like the trailer or something, but like And this might be too far, but where the doctor is just like, how are you like how how did you survive? Like cause it's honestly, was, yeah. Like, like some of them, um they were she's still too surprised but... that I was lucky and didn't really have like a lot of like bad effects from it. Um, I guess when I kind of saw that like my weight was always more on like the low side, I guess they kind of maybe thought like, oh, okay, well, maybe that's why it's not as bad as it could have been. I was really lucky that I had like really good doctors that were um, monitoring me and making sure that nothing was too much for me to like handle. And like, I'm definitely not like an expert or anything like that. You can like hear that, in her voice, she's tearing up again. Yeah, like sometimes I think it's called refeeding syndrome is I think like the, the, the What's that? If you just suddenly start like feeding someone like crazy, pick up a burger and have some food. That's not how this works. I'm not exactly sure like what like the bad things that happen are, but it can actually be really really dangerous. That's why eating disorders are the most deadly mental illness is because it leads to heart attack. Our body our body eats away at its fat and then its muscle, and your heart's a muscle, so it slowly gets weaker. And then you know you exert yourself and have a heart attack. And so I've had patients wear heart monitors, and they go into treatment. This is even like triggering to me, and it's like you know I mean I don't tell. This is just very triggering. Yeah, I agree, cringy. Thank you so much. Good that if you have like a team that's just kind of making sure that you're not just like you know like being like oh eat a burger and a bag of chips and it could really be like a lot for the person to just like handle it once and definitely something you need to be like careful about i really don't like the music Have in the background about, like, when you come back okay i okay okay andrew this is not andrew right she's fidgeting her hands and andrew just like puts the camera down to record her and it could really be like a lot for the person to just like handle it once and definitely something that you need to be like careful about so have you thought about like when you come back you know to your channel like of course she's uncomfortable japanese snacks i don't really know japanese snacks but i'm sure they're cool maybe it's just because of all the issues you're dealing with food, but like with you, is that something that you think you're probably never going to do? Because you're like, I just don't even want to put that up. It's just like my thing. And you know, I think like now people like ask me like food related questions, like I would be like more able to talk about that. It still is kind of like uncomfortable. We're like- So she just said it's uncomfortable. So Eugenia was like basically explaining that she doesn't know how she's gonna come back to YouTube and Shane was like just do a mukbang. And suddenly Listen. People, I guess are almost like expecting you to and they're kind of like expecting you to like come back and just like yeah basically. Which um, I guess that's kind of like a little awkward. <laughs> like people just like expecting all of that. <laughs> but um, <laughs> yeah, so I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's like be kind of like different, I guess. But um, I think I'd be like more willing to like, you know, like talk about the subject though. And I think I would still also want to make like, you know, just like videos that like about things I enjoy. Because I also think like that's a really important thing that like, Sometimes I think like if like for me, like it was just kind of that's all people would talk about and people kind of treat you like there's like nothing more to you, like there's nothing else that like It's just making really me sad, but not for the reasons that the music is trying to make me feel sad for. And I think it like is like important for people to know that whether you're dealing with like an eating disorder or another type of She's tearing up again. Or, like whatever that that isn't like who they are like there is a lot more to them than just that and that they shouldn't feel like their whole identity is just just that one thing and there's like a lot more to people than just like what they're going through like their disorder that they're dealing with so yeah yeah but i would definitely like, like to tell people like eugenia keeps looking into the camera as well like um she keeps talking and like you know like looking into the camera like uncomfortably you know like aware that you know, it's there and stuff. I'm able to a little bit, but yeah, because I'm not like the expert, but. 
she's like she's like really tearing up and i'm about to tear up like and i fucking hate that i am so i'm like i'm gonna take a moment um i'm just like upset that she was put into the situation so let me read the comments for a second because um i'm not gonna do that um yeah, she's just like so nervous. And it's like, it was like, at no point was the camera ever put down. I love you. Oh, I love you too. That was so great. I Thank love you. you. Well, okay. On that note, yeah. sh- what do you want? To, what do you do? Not the like, fucking music. How are you going to like make all these like food jokes and then be like, anyways. What do you enjoy? So like, let's. Yeah. Eating disorder. Got that. Okay, great. Now what? <laughs> he just went okay eating disorder whatever and went like what uh-huh. well okay on that note yeah. sh- what do you want what do you do like what do you enjoy so like let's yeah. eating disorder got the- okay great now what? what do you do Oh. Is this triggering for anyone else? Because And I don't know I don't know why it's it's like triggering. You know what I mean? Because it's not like I struggle with the same sort of thing, but and I can't put my finger on why it's triggering me. Can someone help me out? Because I don't know, like, I don't, I can't, like, I don't know why I feel triggered by this. And I wouldn't say that about a lot of things. If you fucking know me, you know I would never say this. Um, yeah, Julie said, I don't have an eating disorder, but um, other mental illnesses, and I would hate to be true. Maybe that's it. Because you have a heart, because it's wrong, because it's upsetting, the lack of self-awareness. Okay, probably, but this is this has been a hard watch for me, but not the way that they're like wanting it to be. Not the it's July, not Julie. Sorry. Oh my god, my eyes are so bad that I I, th- I always call you Julie, and I always do on Discord as well because my eyes, I'm always like this on my screen. So I sorry. Um, I'm not like feeling triggered by this the way that like the music and the storytelling of this wants it to be, it's more so like a, I feel really upset with the way it was done. Maybe. What do you like? So like we were talking about, I, I like makeup a lot and stuff like that. And like, of course like, she brings like, out a Jeffree Star palette. Like, like of course. It. It's always just been something like I really enjoy. And I can like be creative with it. And- Within 50 minutes, how are you going to tell her entire story? do a lot of stuff with that so i like my fashion in general and stuff like that like yeah what is that oh this it's a spirit <laughs> yeah you can try it on yeah. Yeah. yeah it's like a scarf hold on so then basically the end of the video is just her teaching shane how to do makeup because he talks about how much she wants to do makeup and how much she wants to be a beauty guru so literally the last 10 minutes are her teaching shane how to be a makeup artist and yep it's literally all about yep pretty much all that's how it is okay that's it like that that's literally it someone said that didn't age well but i don't understand how this was accepted and it's like I honestly, whenever I started this, I did not think that I was going to go into this and end up feeling sad by the end of it or end up feeling, like, uneasy and triggered. But I don't feel like that because of his storytelling. (laughs) 
have like the weirdest like it's like a heavy feeling on me right now just because I feel like there were so many clips in this show of Eugenia being told really bad stuff by like live streams and stuff and it was never really addressed and the sit down interview period that was hyped up was like just like jokes and stuff and it's like um C. Blanco said, do you do anything with your life besides hating? For as long as you're here, babe, I'll continue. But you know what I mean? It's like, it's it's a weird, weird, weird one. And listen, there have been so many things that have came out with Eugenia recently. And people have been asking me to talk about them as well. And it's like, yeah, it's a sensitive topic that wasn't treated with sensitivity. Um, I think it's JC said. So, um, yeah. Um, guys, I'm going to go in like a minute, but I just want to hear what people's overall opinions were. Listen, as well, for the people, like, I've seen like two of you who will come in and be like, um, do you do anything with your life besides hating because you're obviously Shane Dawson fans? I think at that stage, you're just a bad person. If you're willing to sit through this iron 40 minute long live stream where I don't even say that much, we're just watching this in the chat or saying their own opinions. And then after that, you can go into it and be like, ah, oh, why are you hating? Like, I think that that shows more about you. Which is why whenever Shane Dawson fans try to defend him or on my Twitter, my YouTube comments or live streams, whatever like that, it doesn't phase me because most people now who are speaking out against Shane Dawson once supported him. And they made that smart decision to be like, yeah, this isn't a great person. There's actually track history here. He apologized, what, taking accountability like a month ago, then a couple of days later goes on screaming on a live stream like we realize that there's a different person if you don't want to realize that people know not to take you seriously because we realize that you're just not taking it seriously anymore and hey do your own thing but it makes you look a uh, full boo boo the full if and i see people even on twitter other people that um like my friends who have channels they get comments and they're like i'm a shane fan but Okay, there's your end of your sentence. We already know. We don't read on. I hate to break it to you. We don't block you because we just let you do your own thing. Listen, Shane Dawson fans who want to come for me, come for fucking my friend Spill Sesh, come for any other drama channel, right? Any other commentary, any other news channel, journalist. Oh my God. Um, I have a friend, Kat, who works at um, Insider. She gets hate from Shane Dawson fans. Literally, none of us block them because we're like, okay, like people are seeing like at like Shane Dawson something in their at and they know not to take it seriously. If people have constructive criticism that they want to come at me for, fine. If people want to critique anything I'm doing, listen, I will listen. If I think it's valid, you know what? I'll hold my hand up, which I've done in the past. I've apologized for a lot of things. And if people are like, why haven't you apologized for this? Because I feel I don't need to. But you're a Shane Dawson fan. So there's more on you. So that's why people don't take you seriously. I hate to break it to you. Um, so, yeah. Someone was like, it was disappointing, but I have to know what's right and who to support. Good on you. I mean, listen. If you want to support someone, support them. But if you know of what they've done and continuously done, then that's another conversation that you can address in your own terms. Mostly it's really young people as well. Um, so like if if people if people want to like hate and say that they're a Shane Dawson fan and I know that they're young, I just don't bite because listen, I'm a young person too. I'm 17 years old. Um, I'm aware that like a lot of like the Shane Dawson people who come for even my friends as well, 
like they're young they're really young this is coming from another young person i just like i i allow you you know like you can do your own thing you can have your freedom of speech it's okay taz said can you watch the jack and glenn video um she knows i really gotta pee and i don't want to i don't want to leave and like you know what i mean so what we're gonna do is end this um i hope you all had a really 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 good time on here tonight in terms of like talking to each other i know this wasn't the nicest thing to watch um this has been nearly a two hour stream. I've had um, fun talking to y'all and I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, even just talking and having all this. Um, so I hope you're all doing great and um, I hope you're all doing good. Love Ken from Kentucky, love from Ireland. So I'll see you all, stay well. Oh, by the way, if you're on here right now, Go on to my Charlie D'Amelio video after I post this, or after I end this, and let's do like a secret catchphrase that we only us know. Okay? Um, save Cheeto. I, I saw people doing that earlier. Save Cheeto, question mark, should we? I see like so many people saying the save Cheeto. Okay, so if you see this, I'm going to end this now. I had fun um, talking with everyone. Comment on my Charlie D'Amelio video that I just posted, Save Cheeto. You know, for the bullshit. Like, may as well. So, bye everyone.